We good? All right, Dominic Izzo, Izzo Wing Chun out here. Got Carl holding the camera. We're going over what we call the box step, triangle step, whatever you want to talk about. And we're running into a problem as far as footwork goes for rooting and Wing Chun. The box step is simply a drill I learned many, many years ago. Looks like this. You're in your Yiji Kim Young Ma stance. You turn to the side, you turn, Tanda. You're gonna step, Pakta. You're gonna do a 45 degree angle step and you're gonna gan, Ganda and then back one punch and back two punch and back to center punch. It's all it is. And the other side is boom, 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 boom. The problem that we were having with Carl was the balance aspect of it. And this is where I go with a 70-30 split, 50-50. Balance with the Wing Chun with the step plant drag, right? The stand, the, the, the purpose of, a, of like a, a, a buma, right? Turn, a buma, is you, you, you shoot off your leg, this one plants, and then this one naturally drags up. If I step this way, it's, I'm gonna come in, shoot 45 degree angle, and this one drags naturally. Eventually, the way we, tra we train people in the beginning is, it's they bring it in, and then they shoot 45. It's a triangle, right? But we all ultimately want them to soften it up where they circle all the way until it becomes just a step like that. The step plant drag aspect of it, you got to think of yourself like the mummy. Remember, the mummy we had one leg just not working and it dragged. This leg, whatever leg you project off of, becomes your dead leg that doesn't move. Meaning, if, I, if this is going to be my leg that projects, I put all the weight on this, you can't Step, plant, and then pull. It has to be step, plant, and this leg naturally drags up. Drags up. If you plant and then pull this in, you're gonna wind up having a shorter base. You have no Yiji Kim Yong Ma, you have no stance. Over time, you're gonna have to manipulate and feel this to get your ultimate balance. But the goal is, is if I back up from you, boom, and I back up from somebody and I'm at that head over hips over feet, 70-30 split, any wrestler will take me right down to the ground. I have no balance. I have to be 50-50. So how do you back up and remain 50-50? The point for it is to be able to back up and immediately spring forward no matter where you're at. So whatever foot training you wind up doing, your back leg, whichever one it is, right? I project, boom. Which one's my back leg? Depends on the way I'm gonna go. I mean, if I go backwards, if I go forwards, if I go this way, this way. Whatever footwork I choose to do has to be an immediate on and off switching of the legs you will feel over time. So work it out slow. Boom, drag, 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 drag. Don't pull. Let the leg naturally come where it needs to go. Go backwards, let the leg naturally pull in. Naturally pull in. Monkey around with this, play with this, see how it goes. But your footwork is essential for staying on your feet in Wing Chun. Otherwise, you're gonna get your ass kicked by a grappler, go right down to the ground and you're fucked. Hope that makes sense. See you guys in the next video.